Have you ever looked up at the night sky and felt a profound sense of wonder? For as long as humans have existed on Earth, we've been mesmerized by the stars, the planets, and the vast mysteries of the universe. Beyond our solar system, countless galaxies swirl with stars, planets, and cosmic phenomena, many of which remain beyond our understanding. In this episode, we'll uncover the powerful connections between space, our planet, and the very essence of humanity. We'll dive into celestial events that have not only altered the course of history, but have also shaped our world, inspired cultures, and ignited the human imagination. From ancient impact craters left by civilization threatening meteors and asteroids to cosmic mysteries that left generations baffled, like the appearance of the Crab Nebula in 1054 and the eerie spectacle that unfolded over Nuremberg in 1561. Join us as we blast off on a journey, a journey through both the pages of Earth's history and the depths of the cosmos. Together, we'll explore five of the most mysterious, awe-inspiring, and deadly astronomical events ever witnessed. This is Fireside Unsolved, episode 114, Five Mysterious Celestial Events. On September 15, 2007, the small village of Carancas in southern Peru became the site of a highly unusual meteorite impact. At around 11.45 a.m., a bright fireball lit up the sky, witnessed by locals as a luminous object with a smoky tail. It was observed at a low altitude, about 1,000 meters or 3,300 feet above the ground, before crashing into the Earth with an estimated force equivalent to four tons of TNT. The resulting explosion left a crater 13 and a half meters, or 44 feet wide, and nearly 6 meters, 15 feet deep. The impact was powerful enough to register as a minor earthquake on Peru's seismological network, and nearby structures weren't spared. The force shattered windows at a health center half a mile away and damaged buildings from debris thrown into the air. What truly set the Carancas impact apart were the strange events that followed. Villagers quickly gathered around the still steaming crater, only to report feeling unwell shortly after. They observed water boiling in the muddy crater, and many began experiencing nausea, vomiting, headaches, and skin irritation. Even police officers who arrived to investigate felt ill, sparking fears of toxic substances being released from the meteorite. As more people fell sick, physicians were forced to set up additional medical tents to handle the surge in patients. The illnesses, along with the deaths of nearby livestock, prompted concern over water contamination, and locals temporarily halted drinking from nearby sources. Four days after the impact, most of the villagers had recovered, but questions remained. Scientific investigations revealed that the meteorite, despite its small size, roughly 10 feet in diameter, struck with extraordinary kinetic energy, likely because the high altitude of the impact site in Peru reduced its atmospheric drag. This allowed the meteor to maintain higher speed and temperature upon impact, making the ground unusually hot. Further research indicated that the illnesses were likely caused by toxic sulfuric vapors or other gases released from beneath the surface due to the intense heat of the impact. The Carancas event, while relatively small by space object standards, caused significant disruption and attracted global attention for its unusual aftermath and scientific implications. The Qingyang event, also referred to as the Qingyang meteor shower, occurred in 1490 in what is now Gansu Province, China. Historical records from the Ming Dynasty describe the event as a catastrophic meteor shower that allegedly claimed the lives of around 10,000 people. However, this figure is often debated by historians, as official Ming Dynasty documents do not specifically mention the casualty numbers, leaving room for speculation about the event's actual death toll. Despite this uncertainty, the Qingyang meteor shower is generally agreed to have caused significant destruction, the event is thought to have been triggered by a large meteor shower or possibly an airburst from a disintegrating asteroid, similar to the Tunguska event of 1908. The Tunguska event in Russia, the largest impact event on Earth in recorded history, occurred when a celestial object exploded in Earth's atmosphere, causing widespread devastation but leaving no impact crater. Despite the uncertainty surrounding some of the details, the Qingyang event remains one of the most mysterious and destructive meteorological events in recorded history. Its scale, potential human toll, and unique place in ancient records continue to captivate scientists and historians today.
We've already dedicated an entire episode to this event on the channel, and we'll link it in the top right if you'd like to dive deeper. While we cover more details in that full episode, it's such a strange case that we felt it deserved a mention in this one as well. The 1561 celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg was a remarkable event that took place on April 14, 1561. Witnesses reported a dramatic aerial battle involving numerous unidentified flying objects appearing in the sky at dawn. The spectacle began with what seemed to be various shapes emerging from the sun, described as spheres, cylinders, crosses, and other unusual forms, which engaged in what looked like combat for over an hour. Eyewitness accounts detailed the appearance of hundreds of these objects, some darting around and others colliding in midair, culminating in a loud crash. Eventually, the objects appeared to fall to the ground in clouds of smoke. Although there were no confirmed physical remnants found after the event, it was vividly illustrated in a news article published shortly after. Theories regarding this phenomenon range from religious interpretations to natural explanations like atmospheric conditions or swarms of insects. Carl Jung, the renowned psychiatrist, suggested that the event could be seen as a manifestation of collective anxiety rather than extraterrestrial encounters. This mysterious event has sparked considerable debate over the centuries leaving many to wonder what truly unfolded in the skies of Nuremberg on that fateful day. Strangely, this would not be the only event like this in that decade. A similar event occurred in Basel, Switzerland, five years later, indicating that such celestial phenomena were not isolated incidents. In 1566, just five years after the celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg, Basel, Switzerland, became the site of another mysterious event. According to the Basel pamphlet of 1566, basically the newspaper of the time, the skies over the city displayed strange and unsettling phenomena. Witnesses described unusual sunrises and sunsets, with red and black balls appearing in the sky. These spheres seemed to move and fight with one another before the rising sun. The dramatic spectacle left the city's inhabitants baffled and concerned, with many interpreting it as a sign of impending doom or divine intervention. Historian Samuel Coxus documented these events noting that the first occurred on July 27th, followed by similar phenomena on July 28th and August 7th. During these days, local observers reported that the sun lost its brightness, taking on a reddish hue similar to blood. On August 7th, 1566, large black spheres appeared to dash across the sky with remarkable speed and precision, leading to reports of what seemed like an aerial battle. The Basel event is often discussed in conjunction with the Nuremberg incident of 1561, as both events were interpreted by some as potential UFO sightings, with the spherical shapes being identified as unidentified flying objects. Others speculate that these celestial events were natural atmospheric phenomena, such as sundogs or mass optical illusions. However, in an era of religious upheaval and fear of divine retribution, many people at the time viewed these sky spectacles as apocalyptic warnings. The event, like the 1561 Nuremberg sighting, continues to intrigue both historians and enthusiasts of mysterious events in our past, as it highlights the impact that unexplained celestial phenomena had on the imaginations and anxieties of early modern Europeans. In 1054, a monumental celestial event took place that would leave a lasting mark on the universe, Earth, and human history. A supernova explosion in the Taurus constellation gave birth to what is now known as the Crab Nebula, one of the most famous astronomical objects in the sky. This stellar explosion was so luminous that it was visible to the naked eye during the day for nearly a month and at night for around two years, appearing six times brighter than Venus. Historical records from Chinese, Japanese, and Arab astronomers extensively document this guest star. But curiously, no European records of the event have been found, despite its brilliance. The explosion was likely witnessed by a global audience, with various cultures offering different interpretations of the phenomenon. For the astronomers in China's Song Dynasty, this was an event of major significance, and they meticulously documented its position and duration. Middle Eastern observers also noted its presence in their skies, adding to the diverse accounts of this extraordinary event. The Crab Nebula itself is the remnant of this supernova, expanding over time into the cloud of gas and dust we observe today. Spanning about 11 light years across and continuing to expand at a rate of 1,500 kilometers per second, the nebula remains a source of fascination for modern scientists. Its glowing tendrils of gas shine across the electromagnetic spectrum, from visible light to radio waves and X-rays. This broad spectrum of radiation has made the nebula a treasure trove of information for astrophysicists seeking to understand the life cycle of stars. Over a millennium after its creation, 
the Crab Nebula continues to captivate scientists and stargazers alike, offering a glimpse into both the explosive past and the enduring mysteries of the universe. As we've discovered in this episode, the universe has left a lasting impact on humanity, with each celestial event inspiring both awe and mystery. From the Caracas Impact event in Peru, to the Qingyang event of 1490 in China, the strange skies over Basel and Nuremberg in the 1560s, all the way back to 1054 when a supernova illuminated the night, each of these events serves as a powerful reminder of the influence that space and its cosmic objects have over our planet. Though separated by time and geography, these celestial phenomena share a common narrative. They showcase the dynamic relationship between Earth and the cosmos. The skies above have always been a source of wonder, fear, and inspiration. And these events highlight how much we still have to learn about our universe. As we continue to investigate these otherworldly occurrences, one thing remains constant. Our fascination with the stars and the mysteries they hold will never fade. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history and the infinite cosmos. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share if you enjoyed this episode, and stay tuned for the next one. Fireside. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Fireside Unsolved. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until next time, take it easy and be easy, you filthy bastards.